New evidence proves just how close Jung Hain and Jung So Min really are. Hey there, lovely readers. Before we dive into the latest heart-fluttering scoop about Jung Hain and Jung So Min, we'd love to send a big shout out to you from our team at at ZZWBS Tao. If you enjoy juicy celebrity news with a dash of humor and a sprinkle of romance, don't forget to check out our YouTube channel. We've got all the good stuff waiting for you. Don't be shy, hit that subscribe button, and we promise you won't regret it. Okay, now, on to the fun part. When you lend your phone to a friend, that's our pretty big deal, right? But when Jung Han nonchalantly handed over his personal phone to Jung So Min so she could look up a song during a radio show, the internet collectively swooned. It's not every day that someone lets another person casually swipe through their phone like it's no big deal. And this wasn't just any phone, folks. This was Han's personal device. The moment, captured on the Melon radio show, left fans gasping and Twitter exploding with speculation. Think about it, letting someone use your phone. In today's world. That's like giving them the keys to your diary, your private thoughts, your entire Spotify playlist, which, let's be real, is probably filled with guilty pleasures. It's our level of trust that screams, I'm cool with you seeing my weird search history and that's exactly why fans couldn't get enough of this wholesome yet suspiciously intimate gesture. Fans go wild on social media. Within seconds of that on-air moment, Twitter was a buzz. Fans dissected every second of the exchange, from So Min's casual confidence while scrolling through Hyun's phone to his total HL reaction. One fan tweeted, Wait, did Hyun really just hand over his phone to So Min like it's no big deal? This is next level trust. Another fan chimed in, I thought it was a staff member's phone at first, but then I realized, nope, it's his phone. They are so close. The fan theorists started rolling in. Some claimed it was proof of a deep friendship, while others speculated something more. Let's be honest, in the land of K-dramas, where every stolen glance and shared umbrella is packed with meaning, this phone sharing moment had fans shouting, they're dating, I just know it. Trust levels, maxed out. You've got to admit, lending someone your phone is a big deal. It's one of those modern acts of trust that ranks just below giving someone the last piece of pizza, after all, who knows what's on there. Messages, awkward selfies, or maybe even secret playlists of cheesy love songs. It's safe to say that Hagen must have full confidence in Somin, or they've reached a comfort level where nothing's off limits. Some fans have gone as far as saying, if this isn't a sign of love, what is sure, that might be a leap, but hey, we love a good conspiracy theory. One fan hilariously tweeted, I'm starting a petition to call the Jun couple because clearly, they're already sharing everything, including phones. Are they or aren't they? Of course, neither Jung Hyun nor Jung So Min has confirmed any romantic involvement. But that doesn't stop fans from crossing their fingers and hoping for a real-life K-drama plot twists. They've starred in dramas together and have undeniable chemistry on screen, but it's these small off-screen moments that keep everyone wondering, are they just friends, or is there something more going on? Whether they're besties or blossoming into something romantic, this little act of trust has us all swooning. Hyun and So Min may not be making any official announcements, but their adorable interactions are enough to fuel fan fantasies for days. So, what do you think? Is this phone sharing saga proof of a deeper connection? Or are they just really comfortable around each other? Either way, we're here for it. And remember, for more fun content like this, swing by at ZZWBS Tower on YouTube, where we keep the gossip flowing and the laughs rolling. Jung Hain and Jung So Min, best friends or something more? When it comes to Jung Hain and Jung So Min, there's no denying that their interactions often leave fans wondering just how close they really are. These two have consistently shown a level of comfort and ease with one another that is rare in the public eye. Whether it's the casual way they laugh together, the inside jokes they seem to share, or those warm glances exchanged during interviews, they've convinced everyone that they are, at the very least, extremely close friends. But could there be something more simmering beneath the surface? The magic of their chemistry. The relationship between Hain and Somin is a perfect example of how sometimes, what we see on screen spills over into real life. Their on-screen chemistry is undeniable, 
as fans have repeatedly pointed out during their appearances in dramas and variety shows. But what really sets them apart is the way they behave off-screen. They often engage in friendly teasing, spontaneous laughter, and, most notably, those little gestures of affection that feel both intimate and natural. It's those small moments, Hyun helping So Min adjust her microphone, So Min casually touching Hyun's arm during interviews, that really get people talking. These gestures aren't the exaggerated kind you'd expect from actors trying to promote a new show. No, they're subtle, almost reflexive, which only adds fuel to the fire of fans who believe they're witnessing the blossoming of something more. The famous phone sharing incident. It was just the latest example of the comfort level these two share. And while lending someone your phone might not scream we're dating, it does say, I trust you completely. The fine line between friendship and romance. Hyun and So Min seem to embody that classic dilemma we all know too well, the confusing, gray area between being best friends and something more. They have the kind of relationship where they clearly enjoy each other's company and support one another, but that closeness can sometimes make things complicated. As the saying goes, from friends to lovers can be both the easiest and the hardest thing in the world. In some cases, the transition feels like a natural next step. You already know everything about each other, you share inside jokes, you're comfortable enough to share your deepest thoughts and fears. Why not take it to the next level, right? But, as with all friendships, there's our risk. That invisible line between best friends and lovers can be incredibly thin or impossibly wide. You either take that leap and find out you were always meant to be together, or you realize that the dynamic you had as friends was better left untouched. And maybe, just maybe, that's what keeping Hain and Somin from confirming any dating rumors. They're in that space where the possibility of more exists, but the risks of complicating a cherished friendship are just as real. Are they testing the waters? What makes the whole situation even more intriguing is how effortlessly Hain and Somin interact in public. Often, when co-stars or close friends are rumored to be romantically involved, they become more guarded, more reserved. But not these two. If anything, their interactions seem to get even more playful and light-hearted with each rumor. It's almost as if they're testing the waters, seeing how their friendship holds up under the scrutiny of the public eye. And so far, it seems like they're thriving. Their easygoing banter and frequent collaborations continue to feed speculation, but also reinforce the idea that whatever they have, whether it's a strong friendship or budding romance, it's built on mutual respect and genuine affection. In the end, perhaps it's that very unpredictability that keeps everyone so hooked. Best friends can become lovers in a heartbeat, or stay as best friends forever. The distance between the two is sometimes just a breath away, and other times, miles apart. Either way, with Hain and Somin, we'll continue to enjoy the journey, no matter where it leads.